so usually you know Setal does a food thing but this time I was invited to a sneak peek at the food that will be offered at the Jamaica Food and Drink Festival and man was it good take me back <laughs> What did you think about the JA food and drink sneak tasting tonight? Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. I have been to a few sneak tastes. It's kind of a guilty pleasure and I absolutely love to see the creativity on display. So did you have a favorite dish from tonight? <gasps> wow, can't believe she asked me that. <laughs> um, can I say a surprise dish? I was surprised at the pairing of pancakes and bacon for dessert, and I like that. It was really cool. I really like the fact that we tried different foods from different places. You know, like the Vietnamese street food, that was really good. Um, but my favorite was the divide. Yeah. So what relevance do you think the JA Food and Drink Festival brings, you know, to Jamaica? I think it, it brings significant relevance. The reality is that we do need more events to make Kingston into a true destination. I think we definitely need to focus a lot more on, on our creative industries, industries like entertainment, the culinary arts. I think those things do well right across the globe. And we have tremendous talent right here that was on show here tonight. And the more we can promote this talent, the more we'll influence and inspire other generations to aspire to be like this talent. Plus, it's a great revenue earner for the city. It's a great revenue earner for the country. And it's just all around a good family, fun-filled activity. It's really about showcasing the best of Jamaica and making people know that we're so much more than jerk and that Kingston is truly a destination city. We have Taste Black History, which is actually partnering with us this year. So they have various chefs that travel the world and infuse what is African um, food and heritage into their offering. And so they come this year, which is a big deal. And we have Dylan Benoit coming back from Cayman, who is a celebrated chef over there, as well as he's on Grill Masters or Fire Masters in Food Network Canada, and he's just picked up in Food Network USA. And I mean, he, he's awesome. He's so much fun and his food is amazing. I mean, honestly, it's also one of the best things for us. Yes. I mean, they come together and they're like, they're, they're friends, you know, they, they ask each other for advice, they help each other on gigs and it's almost like they have their huddle before events. It's, yeah. it's awesome. And I think, I think we're really bringing the food world together and elevating and giving them a platform to really showcase our talents. All right, Mark, so tell me a little bit about your dish tonight. It's for picante, correct? Yes, it is. What we call it is a leftover with wow. So, you know, as an organization, they get all the sponsors from a different um, company. So I said, guys, listen, whatever you, the rest of the chef is not using, just send it to me and I create something. So that's why I came up with this leftover at wow. So what we actually did was like, it's, it's basically like an Indian fried dumpling. So Indian fried dumpling is flat, like a flat bread. So we top it with um, salted um, smoked, smoked beef, um, sausages, plantain, peppers, jalapeno pepper. Um, jerk seasoning and then we top it with what we made an in-house which is a tomato jam and then we put some pepper jack cheese in there and we blow torch it so in a sense it's a pizza so it's a combination of stuff we had fun doing it and it's very tasty the inspiration for my dish was the truth is that I I didn't create the dish okay. um, it was actually created by one of my chef de parties Denise Williams um, and I really just helped to support that process and she's actually sitting down right there Alright, so Oji tells me that you're actually the one that inspired this dish tonight, so tell me a little bit about it. Um, so we have a kefir butter sauce with a ravioli stuff with lemon ricotta and finished with a crispy skin salmon. Um, the inspiration was that we're known at a show where people see us and like, oh you guys are doing pasta, but we normally do like spaghetti or linguine, so I wanted to elevate that. So what are you 
most looking forward to for JA Food and Drink this year? Well, all of the new chefs that are coming on um, and what they're going to be able to, to put out. I'm also looking forward to my event, uh, which is going to be on November 3rd. Mm -hmm. Uh, because that brunch event is a new one and uh, I'm just really excited about how we're going to be able to do it and yeah and all of the other persons that are going to be working with me. Okay, nice, thank you so much. Definitely a pleasure. If the sneak taste for JA Food and Drink was this intense, I can't wait to see what the actual festival has to offer.